If you want to help support our channel, head over to Patreon and become a VIP member today. Well, I mentioned it only costs one dollar to become a VIP member over on Patreon. One singular dollar. That's that's a fucking steal of a deal. That's right. And if you're a Patreon member today, you're getting the mother load because you got the episode <laughs> that everybody got. But then you got two shot casts all in one drop. Ooh, double so, duty, baby. That's right. We're making up for uh, we made up already at this point we have made up for the uh missing episode awful dreams we've put that in the uh in the uh canon now and now it's time yeah. for the real shot cast and ladies and gentlemen frost has joined us he's been good enough to be here with us for all of these episodes since uh the beginning and back, um back to back back to back to more fucking back and uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to check out Born Under a Bad Sign as the summer of Slash keeps on rolling on, boys. Rolling, 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 rolling. What? <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, I said, boy, damn son. Yeah, boy. In this episode, we want to remind you, Show Me State Wrestling is coming to Jefferson City, Missouri, August 3rd. But for everybody who's not in the area, head over to their YouTube channel and join today because they got new episodes coming out all the time. Check out some great matches from some of the Midwest best talent. Show Me State Wrestling on YouTube. And we'd show sure appreciate it if you did. Ooh. And with that, let's, let's uncover Chris with our barcode thingy. And oh, come on, man, you gotta be patient. I just <laughs> moved it. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we 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 ready. Are you let's ready? I'm ready. Mr. All right, here Frost we go. ready, so let's do it. I'm, ho I'm hoping Born Under a Bad Sign is similar to the Sopranos thing, because that's all I can hear is Born Under a Bad Sign with a blue moon in your eyes. Well, nope, nothing like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh well. But is this one of the ones we did in the first summer slash when we was doing all those blue balls, blues ball episodes? Maybe I don't recall to be honest. Hmm. I'm not I too don't sure remember. that we gotta look into. <laughs> yeah. We got the church organ taking us to church. We got all kinds of shit going on right now. Oh yeah. Who sings on this one? Uh, Paul, Paul Rogers. Paul Rogers. Paul yeah. Rogers. Tell us about Paul Rogers, Chris. Um, so you may know Paul Rogers. He's probably most famous for uh, being the lead singer of Bad Company. They're a pretty big band back in the day. Um, Paul, he was also part of a band called Free. Um, a few other bands too. He did like yeah, he was the first uh, singer of Queen after the passing of Freddie Mercury. He, they went on to do the Queen plus Paul Rogers tour and even did an album as well with queen but that's a very hard to find album nowadays so yeah they like to pretend that never happened for some reason yeah <laughs> well why hasn't adam lambert done a new queen album yeah that's one i want to know because i yeah, mean he, he fits like he just fits in absolutely they did a live they released a live album it was queen plus adam lambert but i wouldn't mind like new music with uh, with him i think that's like the least they should do he's been with them for like over 10 to 15 years it's been a long time yeah oh yeah i'd go see queen and adam lambert in heartbeat so i, I yeah he just fits in so well i've had days like that sure yeah I 
I want to say something about having bad luck because this happened to me recently. <laughs> I went to a casino. I put $10 in a slot machine and I won $60. All right. So I cashed out. On the way out, I lost 40 just hitting up random slot machines on the way out the door. <laughs> God damn it. And uh, I ended up with 20 at the end of the night. So you still have a bit of a profit. I came out ahead. Not as much ahead as I did. Yeah. Too bad my friends all wanted to leave right when I won something. <laughs> This motherfucker can crawl. All right, here we go. Oh, I thought we was going to get some guitar action right there. Slash kind of teased us with it. Like, nah, not quite nah, yet. Nah, 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 no, 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 no. He's like, you got to wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, at this point, I feel like the lyrics are just repeating. A little bit, yeah. Oh, solo. Okay. Get it, son. Get it, boy. I like this. Ah yeah, well. That'll do. Women will kill you, man. You gotta watch them. They're crafty. One way or another. Hell yeah. yeah. And if it wasn't for bad luck, he'd have no luck at all. So, uh, what else do we know about this song? When was it originally released? Um, I'll just find it right here. Um, Born in a Bad Sign, recorded by Albert King in 1967. And it's oh, really been called a timeless staple of the blues. So this is the second 60s song we've hit up. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, wait, hold on. And, of course, Slash going Slash. Very Slash solo. You know, expected. Pretty good. Yeah. We're going to make it, boys. It's going to be okay. We're going to get One through these, these triple thread of episodes. This is what it's going to be like when getting dizzy when it comes back. So I guess oh, we're yeah. going to get used to it. <laughs> All right, Slash. Oh, wait. Yeah, Slash gonna Slash. Has anybody else covered this over the years? Um, let me see. I'm, I'm not sure in my knowledge. Actually, let me look up. Born Under well, a, if a If it's a blues staple song, I'm sure there's probably been a lot of people cover it. I'm just interested to see oh, who else. Cream covered it. Cream, okay. Yeah. Is that it? That's all I can find. Hmm. Um, you know Eric Clapton probably played this. Oh, it was, yeah. It was requested by Eric Clapton that they recorded their cover. Oh, oh yeah. Well, there you go. Under a bad sign is now in the rear view 
for the summer of Slash. So mm -hmm. uh, let's do our final thoughts then, man. We got some good facts in there. We got some good uh, listening, ear, ear hole listening. Chris, what do you yeah. think of this song? It's pretty good, actually. I don't know. I, I do like the. Uh, I like it steady. It's a little different from like your usual blues affair. I do like that little like the bass in this track is really cool. Um, it is a pretty good song. Is it? I'm trying to like think like you know comparing it to what uh, what else we've heard like you know like the like Pusher or Crossroads was a really good one. I know Hoochie Coochie Man. Uh, oh. It's it's almost there. I think it's it's not a four, but I would give it. A 3.75. How about that? It's almost there to me. I don't know. There's just something that is just like a little bit off. That's not really resonating to like get that four star sort of level, but it is still a really good track. It's much better than the last one. So, yeah. Well, uh, well, who wants to go now? You want me to go next or you want to go next, Ross? I mean, I can go. It doesn't matter. Uh, so just like on listening to it, like Sonic, the way, like enjoying the song, I liked it. Uh, like I just think I think I mean I just think it was good. Like the way it sounded, listening to it, it's definitely something I would could listen to more. I had a good beat and everything. And so, but that song, like just sonically, like what I thought of the song. The the one thing that I kind of was disappointed in, and it's kind of like almost like what Chris touched on. He said just a little bit was it doesn't really. It feels like it's straying farther out of the blues genre. Uh, like uh. Like this is definitely definitely much more blues rock, almost almost kind of slips into like southern rock kind of sounding. Like Slash's solos definitely were not; those weren't like blues licks, you know. Those were yeah. definitely like just like like what like you commented in the song, like blue. Those are typical Slash solos. Like he would be playing that, and he could play that in any of his actual just like hard rock songs or whatever. So like. So on that level of, you know, going into expecting this to be a blues album, it kind of felt this one feels like it strayed from that, that it would it slipped more into like the uh, blues rock, almost Southern rock than rather traditional blues kind of sounding stuff. But again, like I said, just listening to the song for what it is and how it sounded, I mean, it sounded good on its own kind of merit kind of thing. So, I mean, with that, I'm st I'd still give it like a three and a half. Oh, okay. Three and a half. Well, solid. I'm in a similar boat. I don't think it was a bad song by any stretch of the imagination. It's not my favorite one we've listened to so far by a, a long shot. Uh, I, I tell you, I don't like songs that just repeat over and over again. And, you know, I think that's probably well, that's a, with the blues. I, I was about to say, that's going to be all of the blues, basically. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, I'm aware. But I like blues. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um I'm gonna give this one a three. That's the best I can do. Right. The best I can do is three. But what did you think? Let us know in the comment section below. For everybody else, head over to gunsradio.com, get your free invite into our Discord where you can uh, continue the conversation. Born under a bad sign by slash. Give your opinions, your feedback. The summer slash is gonna keep on going though next week because we are gonna be checking out Papa was a rolling stone. Ooh, and this is a long one too. Oh no! I mean, oh yeah. yay! <laughs> I don't know. A lot of I think a lot of when this album came out, a few people in our Discord were like, "Oh, why is this fucking song like almost you know eight minutes long or whatever?" Oh, I don't need to hear this the feature artist you know uh, on this track for so long. But we're gonna put our opinions to it next week. So give it our first listen and see what we think. Uh, but right. Pablo's Rolling Stone is Slash uh, featuring Demi Lovato, so she's returning the favor for his very phoned in rock version of one of her songs. Let's see if she actually puts some talent into this. So that's right. And you know, we'll be, uh, we've only got four more tracks, uh, coming up this, uh, on this album. Yeah. So we actually we'll have, have three cause we technically killing floor. We've already done. And oh yeah. And metal chestnut we think is an instrumental. It is instrumental. It's confirmed. So we're going to do a double on that okay. one. So we have a couple more weeks left of this album and then we're going to be covering, a. Some other very slash adjacent things, right on because the fun. summer slash doesn't end when this album's review, yeah, ends. So, yeah, keep that in mind. We'll see you tomorrow on Guns of Radio when we're going to be Ooh. listening to what song did we get in the wheel? More slash. We're going to be going back to a World on Fire with Dirty Girl. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, folks. Bye. Peace.